Welcome to another tutor short provided by the Educational Support Services Department of Lehigh Carbon Community College in Snexville, Pennsylvania, which is just outside of Allentown. These videos review key learnings for the science courses provided here at LTRIC. And please remember that the Educational Support Services Department does provide walk-in tutoring five days a week. Today, let's look at balancing chemical equations when you have polyatomic ions. On the bottom here, I have a list of hints on how to balance chemical equations. I had used that in my first video, and I mentioned that I would do a separate example here with the polyatomic ions. Step number two is to treat them as single units. So, in this case here, the example we're using is potassium sulfate reacting with barium nitrate to give you barium sulfate and potassium nitrate. You might recognize this is a double replacement reaction. In this equation, the anions switch places. And you'll see that the uh, sulfate ion was originally um, associated with potassium, and now after the reaction, it is now associated with barium. And the opposite with the nitrate originally was associated with barium, and is now associated with potassium. A way to help with balancing occasionally, you will see, is to recognize here that sulfate is a polyatomic ion and so is nitrate, NO3. And so if you uh, treat them as single units, the way it would go about that, leave your potassium, but then let's represent a sulfate with an X. So you have one sulfate ion in that molecule. And in the barium nitrate here, if we say Z is the nitrate molecule, NO3, then we have two of those uh, in this form, in this uh, molecule. Now over on this side we do similarly. You have your barium and one sulfate, and sulfate we represent with an X. And then potassium and the nitrates is Z, and there's only one nitrate on this side. Now by doing this, if you look at um, the new equation I have written here, by using X and Z, we don't have to break up, in the case of sulfate, the sulfur from the four oxygens. And in the nitrate over here, you don't have to split nitrogen with the oxygens uh, and try to s balance those atoms by themselves. So if we start, let's do our balance here. If we start with potassium over here, we have two potassiums. So we go to the other side of the equation, and we notice we only have one over here. So in order to balance, we would put a 2. So now we have two potassiums, and the potassiums balance on both sides. But then with the 2 here, we now have two Zs on this side. We look up back on the other side, and we have Z over here, and there are two. So the Zs are okay. Look at next at barium. There's one barium here. Go to this side. We have one barium. So they're balanced. And all that's left now is uh, the sulfate represented by an X. There's one X on this side. We go over here and we have one X. So we're balanced. So without having to break up the polyatomic ions, uh, we were able to balance this equation. Uh, if we look up above on the full equation, by just adding a 2 in front of the potassium nitrate, we now have a balanced equation. And uh, hopefully this will help you as you uh, work with balancing chemical equations. As a further note, some of you may have recognized that this is a precipitation reaction. Uh, the products here, barium sulfate and potassium nitrate, uh, if you remember your solubility rules, nitrate is soluble uh, in all forms, 
but barium combined with sulfate is insoluble. So if you were to do this reaction in a lab, uh, you would form a precipitate with the barium sulfate. Thank you.